It's Gaga Lot back again. Some people know me as Mrs. Lot. Um, if you have been listening to my stories, have your parents send me a message so that I can say hello to you. Right now, I want to say hello, Braden. Hello, Eleanor. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Henry. Hello there, Amory Gray. And my friend Chloe, who's been reading books online too. And if you know Dr. Klein or Miss Shepherd from Lansing Elementary School, you might be listening. And if you know Nurse Sandy Brenneman or Dr. Lott, maybe you're listening to these stories. I think the word got around that I was going to read a story about bears today because you could see some of my bear friends have joined me along with Little Bear and Teddy and Mickey and Miss Bunny. We still only have 10 of us. That's important right now. And we're going to read The Berenstein Bears and The Bad Dream. This is by Stan and Jan Berenstein. Brother Bear was just crazy about space grizzlies. Space grizzlies were little toy action collection figures that you could collect. Sister Bear didn't like them much. She thought they were dumb and a little scary. She doesn't look very happy, but Brother does. Mama Bear didn't mind them, except when Brother Bob brought them to the table or left them on the stairs. Papa Bear didn't care about them one way or another. But Brother cared about them a lot. He cared about them so much that he did chores for neighbors to make extra money so he could buy more. See? He got groceries for them, and he mowed lawns, and he walked dogs. He had quite a few action figures, but the store had more, a lot more. He was saving up to buy Sleezo's Cloud Castle. Sleezo was the evilest of all the space grizzlies, and the wicked-looking cloud castle was where he planned his evil deeds. There's the cloud castle. When Brother had saved enough money, he went along on a shopping trip to the Bear Country Mall and made his purchase. The cloud castle came in a big box, and he could hardly wait to get it home to play with it. But as he was getting into the car, he saw something that was even more exciting than the cloud castle. There's the cloud castle box. What could be more exciting than that big cloud castle? It was a movie poster. It said, coming soon, Space Grizzlies, the movie. He looks so excited. Sister doesn't look so excited. A Space Grizzlies movie, he cried. It looks great. I can't wait to see it. I can, said Sister. It looks scary to me. May I see it when it comes, Mama, said Brother. May I, may I please? Hmm, said Mama. We'll see when the time comes. There he is asking. I liked that he said please. When they got home, Brother opened his new cloud castle he got out all his space grizzlies, and he was set to play the biggest space grizzly game ever. But he had nobody to play with. Nobody except sister, that is. You think if he asks her nicely, she'll play? Hmm. Want to play space grizzly, sis, he asked. No way, she said. Ah, oh, come on, he said. I'll play any game you want if you play Space Grizzlies with me. Any three games, she said, driving a hard bargain. Which three, he asked warily. Paper dolls, jacks, and bean bags, she answered. Paper dolls, bat jacks, and bean bags, he protested. Give me a break. Take it or leave it, she said. He took it, and after some lively sessions of 
paper dolls, jacks, and bean bags, it was time for... <gasps> what did Sister promise to play? Space Grizzlies! I am Sleazy, oh, Sleezo, evil king of the universe, Word brother, calling all spaceships, seek and destroy the planet Magongo, home of my sworn enemy, Hero the Magnificent. Oh, no, you don't, Sister Shadowback. I am Hero the Magnificent. One touch from my sleep wand and your evil ways will be ended. They played until Mama called them for dinner. Brother, said Mama, how many times must I tell you no space grizzlies at the table? Papa was taking a peek at the Bear Country News. Brother, he said, that movie of yours starts tomorrow. May I see it, Mama? Please, asked Brother. I don't know why not, she said. We haven't been to the movies for a while. I like that he said please again, don't you? I think he knows how to ask. And he said, may I? I know why not, said Sister, because it's scary. That's no problem, said Papa. There are lots of movies to choose from. He was right. The Bear Country Theater was really four theaters in one, and there were usually four different movies playing. This looks good, said Mama. The Magic Toe Shoes. It's a musical about a ballerina. I think I'd like that. So, when they got to the movies the next evening, Mama, Papa, and Sister got in line for the magic toe shoes, and Brother joined a bunch of his friends in line for Space Grizzlies. There they are in line. Here's the story. Hum, I wonder what it's about. A ballerina? Let's see what happens to it. The Magic Toe Shoes told the story of a young bear who wanted to be a ballerina, but every time she tried to dance on her toes, she wiggled and wobbled. The old ballet master took pity on her and gave her a pair of Magic Toe Shoes, which cured her wiggles and wobbles. See the Magic Toe Shoes? But on the night of the big ballet, she left her Magic Toe Shoes on the bus. Without them, she was all wiggles and wobbles again. That's when the ballet master told her, they weren't magic at all. They were just ordinary toe shoes. The wobbly ballerina got her confidence back and performed more beautifully than ever. The Space Grizzly movie was about space grizzlies, of course. Great, monstrous, big screen ones who zapped and zoomed through space until that final intergalactic shootout. It was very exciting and not a little bit scary. It was dark when the Bear family got home, so it was off to bed for the cubs. It was already late for Sister and she went right to sleep, but Brother was so excited by the movie that he lay awake for quite a while. He was about to doze off when he heard Sister screaming. Help! She screamed. They're after me. Who's after you, asked Brother. Space Grizzly, she wailed. Thousands of them. Calm down, silly head. It's only a dream, he said. But Sister leaped out of bed and ran into Mama and Papa's room. The little silly brother thought, imagine, being afraid of a dopey dream. Then he yawned turned over and went to sleep. But sister sounded really scared. Mama and Papa trying to calm sister, they took her into bed with them and hugged her. Tell us about your dream, said Mama. Dream, sister said? Yes, said Papa. You must have had a nightmare. That's a word for a bad dream. But it was so real, she said, calming down a little. That's how it is with dreams, he said. It's as if they're really happening, but they're not. They're just in your mind. Can you tell us your dream, said Mama? It 
was awful, Sister said. I was a ballet star dancing on my toes. And then the stage turned into a giant beanbag board and the space grizzlies came out of the beanbag holes and chased me and I fell down one of the holes. And I kept falling and falling and then I woke up. It was awful, she wailed again and buried her face in Mama's nightgown. I'm sure it was, said Mama, but it was also interesting. Interesting, said Sister, in a puzzled voice. Oh, yes, said Mama. You see, even though you go to sleep, your mind keeps right on thinking. But it doesn't think in a sensible way. It takes all the things you were thinking or were nervous about during the day and puts them together all jumbled up in a mixed up puzzle. So Mama's explaining to her all about it. You mean like the ballet dancer from the movie, said Sister? Sure, said Papa. And the beanbag board from playing beanbags with brother, she added. And the space grizzlies began, Mama. Or from playing space grizzlies with brother. From seeing the movie poster, Sister said. Exactly, said Papa. Say, she said, that is interesting. And that's when they heard brother. Then he raced into the room, jumped into the bed, and hid his face in Papa's pajamas. Calm down, son, said Papa. It was just a bad dream. A nightmare, added sister. That's another word for bad dream. Can you tell us about it, asked Mama. Well, I was eating dinner, and the food turned into space grizzlies, gigantic ones, and they chased me, and I turned into a paper doll, and my clothes were falling off. It was awful. You're awake now, dear, said Mama. But Mama, he said, it was so real. Of course it was, said Sister. That's the way dreams are. Let me explain it to you. And she did. Thank you for listening.